So figuring out the right entry to use as you're joining a holding pattern can be a little bit tricky, especially when you're first learning to navigate in the IFR system. The recommended entry is based off of our heading as we arrive at the holding fix for the first time. Because it's based off of our heading, we can use our heading indicator and a trick called the thumb rule to figure out the recommended entry. This is the teardrop zone, and this is the parallel zone. And we call it the thumb rule because you can see the line that separates the direct zone from the teardrop in the parallel is angled 20 degrees over horizontal, which is roughly the width of your thumb. Remember, the FAA says that we should use our heading to the fix plus or minus five degrees. And your thumb is maybe 20 degrees wide plus or minus five degrees. If we're flying a standard right hand holding pattern, we're gonna use our right thumb to visualize that direct entry border. If we're flying a left-hand pattern, then we just simply use our left thumb. Now to figure out which zone you're in, all we need to do is find our holding course and figure out where it falls on our heading indicator as we're flying to the fix. So for example, in a standard right-hand pattern, if we are arriving at the holding fix on a heading of north, and our holding course was 150, then we would execute a direct entry. If our holding course was 330, in this case, with an arrival heading of north, we would execute a parallel entry. And if our holding course was 045, then if we were arriving on a heading of north, we would execute a teardrop entry. 